one of the interesting things of this film is, is that it, it portrays such a, a diverse range of experiences. Uh, it, it's not just, it, it shows that not, um, not all of the members of this team are going through the same experience and have the same challenges on a day to day basis. Um, what kind of things have you, have you seen in, in sort of the response to the film and, and, and in putting the film together about how, you know, that this is, this is not just a, 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 a sort of one, one experience that, that all of these kids go through that, that, that there's, there's a, there's a difference in, in what they face on a day to day basis and, and how they're able to sort of, uh, how they're able to, to sort of work through it. You know, we get really different um, reactions. We've had people say, you show such a diversity um, of the spectrum in the film. And then we've had people say the opposite, actually. You know, I've had people say to me, why don't we have um, people who need more support, you know, or who are nonverbal represented? And, you know, I always say, I didn't set out to make a film about autism. Um, you know, I, I, and while we were making the film, I wasn't thinking this is a film that needs to explain what autism is and it needs to represent autism. And that's impossible because autism is just too diverse. And that I know a lot about. It's wildly diverse. Um, and we have so many, we meaning in the autism community, so many stories to tell. We have infinite stories. Um, it's true with every person you meet with autism, you know, is, 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 uh, you know, a person you've met with autism. That's absolutely true. So, you know, I, I, I think that it's a film about characters and that's always, you know, where I was coming from. And that's certainly, you know, where I come from professionally, you know, in, in terms of my, you know, my film and television background, um, and I, I thought that these were really fascinating individuals. Um, you know, I did, I did think that it was important to have one character need more support, at least one character. And that's, and Calvin does represent um, an individual with autism who needs a tremendous amount of support. Um, but, uh, you know, as you know, also he's funny and charming and, and has lots to offer. Um, anything to add to add to that? Oh, yeah, all, all our kids, all our kids are different. I mean, the the one thing about us doing the film was that, and a lot of parents said when they first came to us, "Oh, you're you're so hard on my son." Well, I'm not here to show pity on your kid. You can go out to all these schools, and my son was, you know, in grade school and stuff. And uh, oh, Mike's got big brown eyes. I said, "That's great, but can he read?" You know, that's that that's the main thing. I, I mean. Your, your kid is not less than. I mean, they're different. They're autistic. And uh, once society grabs a hold of that, you know, things can change. Um, all these boys and, and the girls we have now, I mean, every child is different and, every, and, and their needs are different. And society needs to open their eyes and, you know, they don't want pity. I mean, they don't want pity. Believe me, my son right now, he doesn't want nobody to be, just feel sorry for him. You ask him now, how does my father coach me? What's he like? He'll tell you. You know, I, I'll, I'll treat him just like Mike likes to say, the so-called normal swimmers. And he competes against the so-called normal swimmers now, and he beats them. Not just a little bit, but beats them. Okay. And yeah, Mikey is now on the Scarlet team. That was the team that Robbie was on earlier in the, in the story. So Hammerheads was a stepping stone for Mikey to swim with typical kids. Right. 